Hi there, let's learn about stem and leaf plots. Stem and leaf plots are part of organizing, recording and summarizing data. Suppose we have the term marks of 25 learners. If you have a look, you can quickly count that there are 25 numbers here and they vary in size. Looking through the numbers, you'll see the smallest number is 43 and the largest number is actually 89. So now that we know the smallest number and the largest number, we know where to start our stem and leaf diagram. What we do is we take the tens digits, which vary from 4 to 5 to 6 to 7 to 8, and we write them down in a line below each other. So the stem is made from the tens digits. Then we draw a line to separate the rest of the data. To draw the rest of the data, you start now with the 4. And you have a look and see which numbers are in the 40s. There's two numbers in the 40s, the 43 and the 46. You've already got the 40 parts of the 43 and the 46 in your stem. So we need to write the 3 of the 43 and the 6. So we simply write those two numbers next to each other and we read 43 and 46. Let's do that with the rest of the numbers in our stem. So we've got the 40s, let's work with the 50s now. We've got 50, 54, 51 and 55 if I go through. Sometimes it's useful to use colors to help you see what you're doing. So 50, 54, 51 and 55. To read this you say 50, 54, 51 and 55. Can you complete the stem and leaf plot with the 60s, the 70s and the 80s? Those are the leaves of your plot, the units digits and to read them, you can see that you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 numbers in the 60s. They are 64, 63, 66, etc. But these numbers are not in order from smallest to biggest. The 40s are 43, 46. But look at the 50s. 50, 54, 51, 55. We like to write them from smallest to biggest. So the next job will be to reorder so that your numbers are in the correct order from smallest to biggest and that is your stem and leaf plot. Now there's many things that we can do with the stem and leaf plot. The first thing that we can do is we can read off any number. So for example when you put a stem and a leaf together you make a number. We can see in this particular stem and leaf plot that most of our students got marks in the 60s or the 70s. Very few got marks in the 40s, only two in fact. So there's a lot of information like that. You can also work out your mean. You simply add all the 25 numbers together and divide by 25. Please also, by the way, check that you've got 25 uh, leaves on this side so that you know that you didn't miss a number out by accident. You can work out, because you've ordered these numbers, you can work out your median. Remember we said that there were 25 numbers. So you can go and find the 13th number and you can say that the median is 68. And you can also see your mode. Remember your mode is not 7, it is 67. Because there are three 67s and that's the highest number of any one number. Well. Why are stem and leaf plots useful? All your data details are kept. You can still see every person's mark. It's easy to see the trends so you know what's happening. And they're useful when other forms of data representation are not helpful. I hope you've learned something and enjoyed this.